Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we are going to learn about introduction to trigonometry and in this video we'll first have a brief introduction on trigonometry, then we'll learn about the trigonometric ratios and then we'll try some sample problems on it. So before we move on to the topic, let us try some warm-up questions first. If you want to try these questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. Question number one. What is a right angled triangle? So a right angled triangle is a triangle that has got exactly one right angle in it. That is of 90 degrees. Let's go to question number 2. That says two angles of a triangle are of measure 75 degrees and 35 degrees. Find the measure of the third angle. So we need to use the angles and property here. And with that we can work out that the third angle is of 70 degrees. Now let's move on to question number 3 that says to find AB in this adjoining figure. So the dimension of two sides are already given to us that is 34 and 41 respectively. We need to work out AB and we can do that with the help of Pythagoras theorem. So the length of the third side is going to be 53.26 approximately. But don't forget to keep the unit that is centimeters. Now let's move on to the topic for today. So whenever we talk about trigonometry, we always work with the right angled triangles. Now the question is, why only the right angled triangles? Well, we have little reasons for that. So in your childhood, you must have seen a flying aeroplane in the sky. So let's suppose that this is the point from where you're watching the aeroplane and this is the aeroplane flying in the sky. So if we assume a line parallel to the ground level, then a right angled triangle can be imagined out of it. So trigonometry lets, lets us to work with the heights and distances without actually measuring them. And that is why we always work with the right angle triangle in it. It is one of the most ancient subjects studied by scholars. It was in invented because of the need aroused in astrology, where it was used to evaluate the distance from the Earth to the planets and stars. So now let's move on. And here in this slide, we'll be learning about the angles. So trigonometry is all about the relationship of lengths and sides, lengths of the sides and angles of the right angle triangle. So when we work with the right angle triangles in trigonometry, we define the sides of triangles such that it makes it easier to work with the trigonometric ratios. So let's suppose that ABC is a right angled triangle which is right angled at C. And now if you're talking about the angle B, then we'll name all the sides of this triangle with respect to this angle B. So the side that is opposite to this angle is always known as the perpendicular and the side which is the adjacent to the angle that we are talking becomes the base. However, the third side is always the longest side of the right angle triangle and is known as the hypotenuse. So this is how we can name the sides of the triangle and uh, Notice that if we change the angle about which we are talking, so if we are talking about angle A now, in that case the hypotenuse would remain same, however the perpendicular and base would change accordingly. So we have used some letters for all the three sides, so P for perpendicular, B for base and H for hypotenuse. So this is how we define the sides uh, on the basis of angle that we talk. So let's move on and let's come here. So trigonometric ratios of an acute angle in a right angle triangle represents the relation between the angles and its sides. So if you've got six trigonometric ratios, the first one is sine, which is known as sine, then cosine, known as cos, tangent, that is known as tan, cosecant, that is known as cosec, secant, which is known as sec, cotangent, that is known as cot. So now uh, let's move on and we'll learn about the ratio of these that we have learned, the names that we have learned, sine, cos, tan, cosec, second cot. So sine theta can be understood as opposite side upon the hypotenuse. Likewise for cosec we have got adjacent side upon the hypotenuse and tan is equal to opposite side upon the adjacent side. Likewise for cosec it's hypotenuse upon the opposite side. For sec it is hypotenuse upon the adjacent side and for cot it is the adjacent side upon the opposite side. So if you notice cosec second cot are just the reciprocal of sine, cos and tan respectively. So it means that we just need to learn these three predefined ratios to solve the problems. 
but it is really very important to learn even these three so we have a little hint here to help us out this line says some old houses can always hide their old ages so the letters of each word actually help us to remember about these ratios so here some old houses that is s o h tells us sin theta is equal to opposite side upon the hypotenuse likewise can always hide says cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon the hypotenuse similarly for tan theta we can understand it as their old age so tan theta is equal to opposite side upon the adjacent side so this is how we can remember all these ratios now let's move on and try some sample problems on it so this is the question number 1 that says if sin c is equal to 3 over 5 find all the other trigonometric ratios so first of all we know that sin is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse perpendicular is the opposite side so if b is here opposite side becomes so if c is here opposite side becomes ab that is 3 and hypotenuse is ac which is 5 so with the help of pythagoras theorem we can work out the base which is bc that's gonna be 4 and now we need to find out all the trigonometric ratios so we know that cos is equal to b open h so we can understand it as 4 over 5 that's gonna be in the ratios again so this is a cos theta likewise for tan theta we know that it is p over b so p is 3 and b is 4 so tan theta is equal to 3 over 4 now cosec theta we know that it is the reciprocal of sine theta so it's gonna be 5 over 3 let's write it down so this is 5 over 3 which is the cosec theta now for the sec theta we know that it is the reciprocal of cos theta so answer for this is gonna be just opposite of that cos one so that would be 5 over 4 and likewise for cot theta we can understand it as the reciprocal of tan theta so cot theta would be equal to 4 over 3 so these are all the trigonometric ratios that we were supposed to find and this is the solution to the problem so let us move to one more problem there it says if sine b is equal to half show that 3 cos b minus 4 cos q b is equal to 0 so again we are given about sine b and we know that sine b is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is the opposite side upon the hypotenuse so we can work out that perpendicular here is 1 and hypotenuse is 2 so again with the help of Pythagoras theorem we can work out the base which is under root 3 now we know that cos theta is equal to base over hypotenuse which is BC over AB so we can work that out as under root 3 over 2 hence we can substitute the values of 3 cos B minus 4 cos cube B oh that's a little typing problem here so that has to be 3 in the power of cos so that's 3 cos B minus 4 cos cube B which can be written as this so we're just substituting the value of cos in the required places and then we can work out that this is equal to 0 one more thing if we are taking cos b as bc over ab then we must have a triangle here with base as bc so let us draw one so let's say this is the baseline that is the perpendicular and that is the hypotenuse so we can name all of them as so we are calling the base as bc so that becomes b that becomes c and we're calling the hypotenuse as a so this is now defining the cos b properly which was bc over ab so this is the required solution to the problem now we have got some practice questions for you so you can pause the video and try all the questions by yourself and don't forget to match your answers right here thank you for watching the video for more please log on to justutors.com